All right, welcome to another edition of B-Side Honolulu. My name is Kat Guzman, and I'm here on location at Skull and Crown, located in the heart of Chinatown. I'm here with none other than Ryland, bartender extraordinaire. Uh, we're here to speak about kind of what they're trying to introduce to Chinatown. They're a new tiki bar that maybe you might not be aware of, but we're here to learn about them. Uh, Ryland, can you tell us a little bit about some of the specialty drinks that you guys might have? Yeah, absolutely. So some of the stuff we do is really focused on the experience. So we really want people to not only have a drink, but have a great drink and a great time. So we're looking at the Skull and Crown is one of our signature drinks. And uh, it comes in a huge skull mug, flaming, a little bit of a uh, razzle dazzle over the top. You have to come in and see it, honestly, but um, it's pretty cool. That's probably one of the best looking drinks that we got. Yeah, I noticed there's a lot to see when you come and dine at the Skull and Crown. Can you explain a little bit about where all these uh, kind of, you know, artifacts come from? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this whole place essentially is the history of Chinatown. Um, you look right behind me, we have the uh, doors from the Hawaii Theater. Um, you know, they got pictures and little knickknacks from all over the place. Um, you know, try to spot where the little different tikis come from, where all the little um, signs and artwork comes from. It's all over the place. Also, there is a bit of an oasis I keep hearing about. Oh yeah, the oasis is definitely something to check out. It's uh, essentially part of the building since forever. Um, and it's a beautiful place. Um, people essentially come here, they walk in, and that's sometimes the first thing they ask to see. You know, can I check out the, the oasis in the back? So how did you come up with the idea for Skull and Crown? Well, uh, Skipper Cat, um, concept uh, started uh, maybe last year uh, after a pop-up bar that we've done. We wanted to do this a few years back, but stars aligned and we kind of got offered this place. Perfect place to do a tiki bar in the uh, hello old school building, Madonka building, built in 1901. So we kind of wanted to go with an old trading company feel to this. Um, collect antiques, display things, um, kind of to give it an old Honolulu feel. So what we've got going on over here is an old school spooky vibe and you guys already know about the drinks and the environment. The food is where it's at though. We've got pork, we've got chicken, we've got amazing desserts and as well as our little Dole Whip soft serve with the rum in it, you can get that just by itself for the kids. Everybody thinks that this is just a grown up place but no, families can come in, the kids can come in, you can enjoy veggies, fruits, fresh picked meats, everything on the menu is crafted and designed with a lot of love and a lot of health. So anything that you get on our menu, it's gonna keep you full, it's hearty, and it'll definitely keep you happy during the week. You can bring everybody. Everybody's welcome over here, and there's always something new. And don't forget, First Fridays, First Fridays, every month we've got live music with an amazing band that just sets the mood right in, as well as our old school music that we got playing overhead. Every time I go to the mainland, I do try and hit up if there's a tiki bar in the city that I'm in, I'll try and stop by. So I've seen a multitude of different types of tiki bars. Um, some, I really feel like I'm in Disneyland, like in parts of the Caribbean. Others are kind of a tiki nouveau bar with like a more clean line, mid-century modern kind of vibe to it. The drinks are very delicious. <laughs> um, the drinks and the good vibes people are very friendly. Just escaping to another place. Um, getting away from the normal daily grind. I work in an office every day. I go home, I cook dinner, I do my things, I do my laundry. So be able to come um, somewhere that's kind of out of the very ordinary and um, just experience being in, a, in another place. Right, so it's the experience like getting dolled up and then showing up to a place with a bunch of decor and stuff like that, yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Kind of like an escape from the regular, the real world, if you will. Yeah. Very much so, it is a very big escape. And again, um, when a place has great drinks, tiki drinks are, you know, they're really fun, they're really fruity, there's so many different kinds, something for everyone. Um, it's also a nice time to spend your time here exploring all those drinks on the menu and 
Nice. It gets funner the longer you stay. Yeah, we light our drinks on fire too. 